Good morning, uh, YouTube fans, um, digging fans, whatever. I'm back on the field I was on over the weekend, and uh, I've dug a couple of uh, things in that direction, just rubbish really. A couple of holes up there, and we have a nice little first good signal here. My old regiment. Um, probably not the Durham Light Infantry, but the Light Infantry all the same. Of which I was a assault pioneer. So, stick with us, you'll learn more about us. <laughs> but yeah, that's a nice find. I've not seen one of them before. Uh, so I'll clean this up and give you a bit of look. Woohoo! There we go, giving it a nice brush off, and uh, yeah, springs back memories that. Right, we'll move on to the next, which have a feeling won't be very far away. Okay, um, what about 15 yards from the last signal, the light infantry badge, and we have, if this will focus in properly, a lovely little button, and that's quite old. Just turn that over. Yeah, lovely. Probably a collar or cuff button. Um, it's got the Yorkshire or Lancashire rose on there. Not sure which. But yeah, nice little find. The military were all over this land uh, on exercise, up and down the country. Yeah, all over the place they were. Like a rush. Moving on. Okay. We have here one grotty Roman. And just see a bit of a bust there. This came in at an eight on the equinox. So, and as you can see by the hole, quite a way down. So, yeah, I was expecting more in this area after I got that dinari. So, yes, let's move on. Get in, bring on the Romans. Okay, first hammered coin, <laughs> he said expectantly, hoping he was going to get more. I don't know where it is yet, I've not touched it. At least I hope it's a hammered coin, you just don't know these days. But that looks to me to be, just lever it out a bit. Oh yes, look at the imprint, fantastic. Right, I'll get this cleaned up. Oh, get in, hammered, chuffed a bit. Okay, that's cleaned up. It looks like an Edward uh, first or third, and uh, I can make out Civitas Cantor, so it's Canterbury Mint. I'll just turn that over. Lovely. 
quite a good, not a bad condition either. It's a little bit worn, <laughs> as you might expect after five or six hundred years in the ground. Well, there we go. Right, I'll give this area a really good search in the hope of finding more. Try and get that bit of focus. Right, moving on. Hammered! Okay, am I on to Hammered number two? I'll have to give it a clean up. It's, uh, it's possibly a button, but... I can't see a place for a shank. So, I'll give it a spray off and uh, a brush maybe and I'll get back to you came in the same signal as the last uh, hammered right see you in a bit okay um, it looks to be the remains of a coin it's been used as a as a uh, pendant. I don't know what the coin is, but certainly not hammered. <laughs> okay, we shall move on. You can't win them all. Gold, everybody, gold. A button <laughs> with gold gilding on. It's very nice though, although that's not coming out very well on camera. You can take my word for it, there's gold gilding on it. I'm just leaving it as it is for now. Give it a good clean up when I get back. Here's hoping. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, not far from the road, so I'll try and be quick. Just unearthed this, and uh, it looks like a really old buckle plate. Something like that. I'll just let it dry out a bit, give it a brush off, and then we'll show you. Okay can't waste any more time on it. I've been about 20 minutes since I unearthed this. Um, unfortunately it's breaking up as I uh, try and clean it. So it'll have to go back as it is. It's very decorative. It's a buckle plate. Uh, traces of gold gilding on it. But yeah, I'll pack it away as best I can. See, see if I can get it conserved back, back at my place. But yeah, I love stuff like that. But, uh, I know it's probably pressed, uh, but the work that's gone into it is amazing. Beautiful. Okay, we'll move on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think I have another hammered coin here. Um, you can see just there. I shall, uh, well, may as well get it out now. Oh, I thought it was a button there for a second. I can feel something on the back. Might be just yet. Oh, you're joking. <sighs> so, <laughs> it's a lead button, don't you know? Oh, God. Right. Let's move on. <laughs> the disappointment is palpable. Okay. Been a while since I had a signal. 
but uh, absolutely banging 21 signal here look at that for a Queen Victoria penny absolutely gorgeous so I had to had to record it 1873 I think or two let's move on going back to the car now right <laughs> had to happen on the way back to the car this is the first one of these coins I've ever had in me 13 years of detecting a Vicky fourpence eighteen forty one absolutely lovely that's gonna clean up nice lovely get in silver and I'm not back to the car yet <laughs> oh come on bring it on <laughs> okay I eventually made it back to the car um I'm going to have to give it a rest because my body's telling us I have to. Um, so, I'll start with this roundup and uh, I'm just going to show, because it's a long time since I've had a full finds box like this. There's absolutely hundreds of signals and I literally had to choose which ones to dig. Well, we do that anyway, but uh, yeah, so I'll turn the camera around. And here we go. So all the good stuff here. We have that uh, hammered coin. I got that ring and I didn't film it. It's, a, it's like a copper ring of uh, bronze I'm not sure it's uh, quite heavy um, can't remember why I put that in there let's just have a quick look yeah it's a half penny of someone I think it's Victoria but uh, yeah well I love that Victoria penny um, the coin that far than probably not forgetting the Roman uh, four pence that's a bucket list for me it's first one ever <coughs> so yeah I'm well chuffed with that and there's all this oh there's that uh, Buckle, a buckle plate that I spent ages uh, cleaning up. Don't know if it's going to survive. And one full uh, finds box. There's absolutely loads in there. Um, so I'll pick all the good stuff out and make a video. And I'd, I'm going to give it a a day off I think because uh, I've been out for the last four or five days non-stop so okie doke uh, hope you've enjoyed being out with us and uh, finding what I've found and we'll see you on the next hunt good luck and happy hunting if you're getting out and about